Hello everyone and welcome back. While going through my old videos, I realized that I've missed one of the biggest factions in Empire Total War. I've played as the British, I've played as the Scottish, I even played as the Cherokee Nation. But there is one nation not defined as a state having an army, but an army having a state. That's right everyone, today we are playing as the United States baby, God bless America! This is the first picture ever taken of Joe Biden when he was born. No, we're of course not playing the US. Today, we are playing none other than the great, the glorious, the Prussians! The people who named Prussia most likely looked over at Russia and said, Hey, can I copy your homework a bit? And Russia looked back and said, Yeah, sure, just change it up a little. So let us the Kaiser reinstate and name him William the Great, leader of the coolest German state, builder of the famous Brandenburg Gate. We're going to a land west of Russia, cause we're going to Prussia. Let's go. Here we are in the glorious world of Berlin, Brandenburg. That's right everyone, Friedrich Wilhelm II, not as great as his uncle, but he is to become Frederick the Greater. Well Frederick the Great could capture all of this, fight with the Poles, fight a bit with these people. My plan is not to just conquer the Poles, but all of mainland Europe, maybe even Spain. My life is a lot like Spain, but without an S. We are to do the big conquest of Europe. And to do that, we're gonna need some very cool troops. We already have an army of uh, Konrad Salter, a staunch defender. And whenever you give him fries, he will put salt on them. More than you like. You sort of feel bad because you ordered fries, really excited to eat them. And now they taste like you're licking a battery. He has cuirassiers, hussars, howitzers, grenadiers, and line infantry. But you know what he lacks? That's right, drummers. The backbone, or dare I say, backbeat of any army. Then we will hire the Fry Corps. While Frederick the Right quite had little respect for these men. He's been dead for three years, so he can go suck it. These guys are absolutely amazing. Where should we attack first? Uh, Dresden, you're a bastard and a lowlife scum. Marcus Mannerheim. Mannerheimer, I'm sorry, I thought you were related to a Finnish guy. That was actually Swedish. We're the best. Go suck it. Now let's beef up the economy. We shall send a spy to Poland and assassinate the general. You... You did nothing and you bowed. Well, uh, you're a gentleman and I'll give you that. Let's get some trade going. Napoleon, thank you. The Austrians. Norway, give me your fish. Greece, give me your fish. Sardinia, give me your sardines. Mexico, give me your tacos. Maratha Confederacy, give me your curry. Yes, I'm just trading for fun foods. Little known fact, Wilhelm the Greater is a massive foodie. Very well then, it is time for us to strike at Dresden. Declare war on the German states. Let's go. To arms. Konrad Salter against Wilhelm Metternich. Let's take Saxony. How Bitsen, Kanonen, Afschutzen, Schutzen dir Kanonen. Jawohl. Bosniaks. <laughs> How about them? I love your green shirts and- Oh, that doesn't go together. That man has it, right? Let's go, my brave Bosniaks. Balkan forever! Get here! You guys good? <laughs> and here comes the Bosniaks in for another charge. Oh, it is a slaughter. But you can't spell laughter. No, eh. Uh, no, I can't spell it at all. Blow them to hell! Moving targets! Ah, poofing pompous general has his back turned sliding away on his horse. And he's dead. <laughs> Who's left? No one! We have taken Dresden! We lost 100 men! But they killed 54. We have some inter-German rivalry here. Did anyone shoot any of the Bosniaks? Saxony is back under German control. Is it time for us to give the death blow to the Pole? I do think so. Yes, two big Prussian men bullying Poland. It is Otto Ritzel against Isidor Sarafesic. That's not a real name. Well, we have a bit of a meager defense. I say we pick a position with good visibility. Prepare for the worst, be ready for the best. Let's see here, can we snipe the general? It's just a Polish man, you can kill him. There's the general. It's the bloody last man. He's dead. Drill him full of holes. White coat. Very good. Goodbye, Cossack. Goodbye. Oh, God. Send home all the cavalry. If any of our cavalry is still alive, go fight those drummers. It's like a bunch of Christmas gnomes fighting each other. Goodbye, you cheeky lads. <laughs> and Warsaw is ours. Now that 
is conqu- uh, We didn't actually take it. Varsava! What was once a big army is now a small army. And we're not making that much money. <laughs> Catholics? Sorry, we're gonna have to put that to the torch. No Catholics here, sir. Never knew what a Catholic was to begin with. Alliance with Napoleon? Ally with the French as the Prussians? Apostrophe. Postering from the pompous poof that is Babolian. <laughs> Sorry, but the learning days for the Poles are over. If we are to subdue these people, we are to remove their way of learning. The men from Hanover are attacking Konrad Salter. Let's go! Shoots in their cannon, jawohl! Good shot! <laughs> Down the drummers! Get up! You drama queens! You only got shot by a cannon! I've had worse! Top of the morning! Top of the morning! Top of the morning! Give them some steam! Don't worry, my troops are signed contract. They are fully aware that I might or might not bomb them. It's a cover based shooter, you wouldn't get it. They're fighting, but the Bosniaks are coming! The Bosniaks! Oi, fed off his horse! Let's go! Don't shoot! Ah, oh, that's cringe. That's it. Goodbye! And the Battle of Hanover is done! Good job! Go back to your shitty place! Are you a brony? What if every horse girl you knew? Funny I say horse girl and then Yekaterina shows up. Huh? Very well, come here! Hanover is ours! Ta-da! Welcome back home. Burn the school. Ah yes, the Prussians conquered most of Northern Europe in a few turns and they burnt every school they could. Because if there's one thing that breathes resistance, that is knowledge. I, I'm speaking like a true dictator. Kill the priest, it's dirty work. He is with the Lord now, it is what he would have wanted. It's not the first time that Warsaw is smoking like this, but hey, it won't be the last. A rebellion in Poland, where are they? Ukrainian horse, I even see the horse behind him, looking out over his shoulder. Well, let's deal with them promptly, come here. Shoot them! The Ukrainians! Oh, they're brave, but they're also dead. Run, you brave grenadiers! No! That's it, my four gentlemen! You have your drummer, you have your commander! Come on, gentlemen! No, oh, Jesus, that was- you got shot from behind! Oh, Steven, no! He wasn't deserting, he was a good lad. What are you doing? He's fucking legging it! Where are you going, sir? Oh, he's picking up speed! Where on earth are you headed? Very good! They are dead! Very good! Now head home! I am laying the groundwork for the currywurst that is to come. When you're playing Germany, you have to prepare for the worst. <laughs> Gran Colombia, give me some of your finest white powder. Knights of San John, give me your finest... What the fuck are you asking for? And that is how we make a lot of money! Oh my god! They have a navy! Hanover Rebellion! And just as fast as you came, you left! Goodbye! No! Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart! The youngest of the great composers has died at the age of 35? Mozart was the first OG gangster. He wrote a song about eating ass. Wolf Tausch! You look like you came out of the shower and you're not expecting company. But you are! They're here! Get dressed! We're ambushed by the pole! This is terrifying! Oh god, let this work! I would consider you to be a bit of a cant. Emmanuel can't. <laughs> right, we're up shit creek without a paddle. We're gonna have to need every advantage we can get. The general cannot die as we will be heartbroken to hear about his demise and their troops will fall quicker than you can say. Fuck, the general died. 25 of the bravest land. What are you looking at? Ice in the front, ice in the stomach. We can win this. Anyone who says otherwise will be hung for treason. Heads down! <laughs> Ah, our chances are slim. Our battle attitude is impeccable. Ah, the Forest Brothers, Lithuanian in the woods. What will you do? Fight against the Germans? Fire! Throw your grenades! Another! Gentlemen, this might sound crazy, but fix bayonets! General, get in there! And we've taken the pole! Huzzah! Very good! And Poland is no more! It was nice knowing ya! Take away this college and lay siege to Kurland! Actually fucking break the siege to you know, Konrad Salter against Emil Wagner! Are you related to the opera guy? You're about to be wailing for something else because we are heading for you! General, this was a very foolish mistake of you! Zone off! The carabineers are taking me cannons! Get back on those cannons! There's shots to be fired! You can move a bit less lazily! <laughs> some cannons operational, some cannons not so much. That's Frederick the fucking great! Now point blank them! Very good! They're forming squares in hope to confuse us. Well, jokes on you, I have no idea what I'm doing anyways! Welcome to the Prussian shooting gallery! I will be your guide for today. And that is the battle 
of Fastalia. Very good. The Rhine shall be ours. Peace with the Barbary states. No, thank you. Hey, this is your time. If the Barbary states can ask Prussia for peace, then you can ask that girl or guy out on a date. And if it goes wrong, <laughs> but if it goes all right, hey, very nice. I'll show you honor. Look at this. The people of the Rhine are German now. Very good. Let's build up some roads. The Autobahn. Wittenberg declaring war on me with Austria and Bavaria at their heels. Please, Austria, don't do this. Uh, Wittenberg, you are stupid. You have seen all of your friends fall and you go for it anyways. Ralph Hubble, you are a camel. <laughs> Let every gun roar against the Wittenbergians. Their treason shall no longer be forgotten and forgiven. Toss them a need! No relenting. Our superior infantry drills them like a... Carpenter! Swissman sight at 12 o'clock! Send them away! Goodbye! And with that, we have defeated. Very good! Aha! They're attacking us! Bomb faster! Put a shell in! Stroke it! Good hits! The vile Cossack with his sword yields to no man, god or lord. But perhaps if we shoot him with trap the shot, he's gonna yield. <laughs> don't let him take our cannons! Where's the Ulans? No, don't run away! Fucking get him, lads! Toss your nades! Up and over him! No, what are you doing? <laughs> the victory is ours! That is a glorious battle. Oh, a gentleman in Brandenburg. Off you go, Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant! That's, that's him. That's the guy. That's the guy I was making fun of. We have conquered all of the East. Two more remain. Now, the Austrians seem a bit preoccupied, but they are quite large. They're fighting the Turk. But if we were to go and take Prague, Vienna, and Hungary, that would be rightfully ours. But as it stands, we have bigger targets to hit. And the vile Wittenbergian there's face us on the battlefield. Let's have at it. My troops never walk, they always run. The opposite of what you should do at a water park. Have at them, lads! Let's see what the Hessian grenadiers can do. Lovely hat! Eat this! You yeah, bastard on a horse! I have a horse too! Go get them, you pointy hat and grenade tossing lad! And I think that's the battle dealt with. Very good! And just like that, we march in, we demand surrender, they say no. We kill the civilians, and Württemberg is ours! And we have the Council of the War Court! That is where I will be! But if I decide the War Court, then they can't try me for war crimes! You're a genius, Goyfish! Thank you! Württemberg is done! That just leaves Bavaria! It is time for Operation Anschluss! This is a massive scale military operation that will have us take Prague, Bavaria, Vienna, Hungary, and Galicia and Podola in one fell swoop! Let's have at it! It would potentially put us at war with literally everyone, but I'm willing to take my chances. Russia and Sardinia joins him! Okay, I can handle that! Podolia surrenders to my might! A victory here too! Austria! Taken in less than a turn! Strike at the heart! Recruit the general! Henrik Lehmann! And go to Bohemia! Ta-da! Very good! And we increased our Lebensraum real quick! Now we pray that the Russians are not smart enough to counterattack. Ah, thank you the Ottoman Empire! Wow! Turkey and Germany! Best friends! Döner kebab! Now we take Croatia! <laughs> Hand it over! Very good! Now we move on to Sarajevo. They're trying to escape us. And Transylvania? <laughs> they just let us live here. Thank you, vampires. Wow. Goodbye. We march down to Bulgaria. The Turks took Istanbul, and I think that's for the best. I used a Prussian-controlled Istanbul. It's a bit too cursed for my liking. I think that the Austrians shall live out their days in Milan, on the right side of the Alps. The war against the Austrians was a huge success. Not only are they dead, they don't even live in Austria anymore. Take the troops back home, we are to have one more campaign. Immanuel Kant has died, no, I roasted him too hard. The Brandenburg Gate, oh, we must construct this. There's a Norwegian named Hoglund here. I don't know what he's doing, but it scares me. Sometimes the unknown is the most terrifying. A backstab, Russia, they're coming for me. They knew I was planning something. Well, you bastards. I shall bring you down to your knees. There shall be no Russia. Only Russia. <laughs> oh shit, that's actually really bad now that I think about it. Unprotected flank. Massive front line. We have other matters to attend to. There is another person we have to attack. And that is the vile Swede. A perfectly coordinated strike that I have planned for 
too long to let it slip through my fingers. To take out the Swede once and for all. He starts wars. He sows the sea. He is a bastard. Operation Pickled Harry. The Crimean Cadet! My allies are none. My enemies are many. I think a world conquest is brewing. The Russian! They took Lithuania! No! The Swedes are panicking. And rightfully so. Surrender, you Swede! Finland is ours! One last battle against the vile Swedes in Denmark! Have at you! Operation Pickled Herring! Any red back! Shoot the Swede! Shoot him! Obliterated! Look at those men! Brave Carolians! Yet not so brave when I come and fight! Hacka perita! Vittu voi vittus! Helvete satana! You got shot up like a Christmas tree! Put them in the box I say! Box them in! Oh god! He gacked him! You are no match against us! Who are these hunters? You were just out hunting and then- You madman! Get out of here! More hunters? You can't use civilians! That's a war crime! How hard can it be to kill a few hunters? Revoke their license, they're no longer hunters! We took Denmark! Very good! Sweden is no more! Not gonna lie, this is actually pretty sad! Very good! We fixed our money problems, which is great! But, uh, now... It's another matter. The vile Russians to our east. We have conquered all of the German lands. All of the Balkans. We've taken Finland, Sweden, Denmark. Now, the enemies in the east are coming back to strike us once again. We shall put them down into the dirt. We will not be done until we have taken Alsace-Lorraine from the vile French and Napoleon. And of course, the British Isles and the rest of the world less bad for our taking. But that we'll have to do for the next episode. If you like this, leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Because I'm doing a real Prussian Hours 2 electric boogaloo. Where I will conquer all of Europe. Literally all of Europe. So I'll see you guys in that one. Until then, stay Prussian, my dude. Yeet!